It's my uh, my mate for tonight no. for our crossing towards <laughs> Venice. No cell reception, so no phones, nothing. Only flying the drone, talking to you guys, talking to each other. We are approaching Venice, and Venice is something special for us, right? Yes, it is. We haven't told that story yet. Uh, we could turn on the engine, but that's not something we could do. We have no agenda. We're not in a hurry, so we can take as long as we want. But we are making 2.7 knots of speed instead of uh, 0 0.7. So, uh, Venice, here we come. We are Rihanna and Garben, and this is Hassan Benjamin. We made a few mistakes in life and experienced some challenges. Cancer, bankruptcy, depressions and a divorce. They ignited us in creating our reality. For now, sailing around the world to find our home somewhere on our planet. So welcome to our weekly vlog, from raw sailing to slow living. Embracing the race of life. So we have some uh, good news. We got the flag registration and it's a different flag than we planned, but I'm gonna let Tara Gerber tell you the story. But Gerber is now calling with the harbor to see if we can arrive tomorrow in Venice. And if so, we hope to also lift the boat up right away so we can clean the hole. As you've seen, it's a little bit dirty because we haven't sealed that much. And then, uh, yeah, we're off, set and go with one stop in Rovinia. So let's see. Oh, this he's still going so let's hope they have place and that the boat can be lifted yeah. out and uh, that we can do it all in once that would be great and another question what are the costs for for lifting the boat okay great thank you see you tomorrow bye bye so we are leaving to venice we're leaving to venice and we can stay in a marina we can stay in a marina cool well then it's sailing time it is it is let's go miles towards Rovinje and we are behind the island and I think we can sail so that's good news then we will do the PCR test then we will start sailing tonight I think I just checked the wind up for the wind it is uh, around 16 nautical miles and if we start sailing at, at around 10 11 during the night and it's going to be full moon so that's going to be beautiful um, we will arrive in Venice tomorrow morning We didn't sail for two weeks now, yeah. so it's always a little bit exciting again. And it's not on the, on the autopilot. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Cool. Well, I'm looking forward to sailing as well, but it's gonna be more colder still. It's more? More cold. Yeah. It, the temperature is dropping. So I'm even wearing my jeans, my Levi jeans. <laughs> it's getting really colder. I just 
want to put on my sweater. My uh, my mate for tonight. Yeah. Well, I'm going to sleep tonight. for our crossing towards <laughs> Venice. So we just went to uh, Rovigna city center. Yes. And we Which tried. It's really a beautiful city, actually. It is. And we haven't been here, and Gerben is a little bit disappointed at me. Yeah, <laughs> because I said several times, "Let's go, let's go," and then, no, 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 no. You're always a little bit reluctant to city life. No. Oh at least nowadays so but i'm looking forward to venice okay okay yeah. long story short so <laughs> we went i called the tourist board this afternoon they told me till nine o'clock you can go you can do your uh on rapid. rapid test so we went there eight o'clock nothing nothing <laughs> doors said, closed they even said we open again june 2022 yeah so <laughs> So we went to an emergency room and then they said, no, 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 it's still eight o'clock, so you can't. can't. And then I said, oh, but we have a flight to catch and we really have to go to Italy. And, and then they said, okay, we will do it, we will do it. So we did a test. Uh, we bought some two big mega pizza Pizzas. jumbos and uh, now we will start sailing towards Venice. Yes. Captain? We're gonna put up the Jennaker. First time Jennaker in the night. Under full moon. With full moon, yes. ginger lemon tea and I tried to film it but it doesn't work really well um, but yeah it's cold it is cold outside and we don't like it but it has its charm I have to be honest I keep thinking about sailing Uma ah oh, so cold or no bullshit just sailing Andrea oh, also so cold <laughs> but yes some uh, breakfast and we had quite an interesting sale <laughs> this night with a lot of things that uh, went wrong not terribly wrong but a little bit wrong and one time we had the uh, Jenaker all twisted around uh, Genoa so we had to take it down 
all lines messed up everything. Benjamin hit his head and now he can't move his head. Well, at least that's what he thinks. He's um, a little bit, that happens sometimes with him. Then he has hurt himself and then he thinks he has this constant pain and he's very afraid of moving. So the whole night I was um, comforting Benjamin and uh, we had the motor a piece, no wind. So even the wind isn't what was predicted. So it's uh, it's quite interesting. But now Captain is uh, <laughs> droning. <laughs> yes, now we have 3.4 knots of wind and we make a speed of 1.7. So it's excellent, it's 50%. Yeah. Well, we had the estimation of being in the marina now. Nah, around 10, 11. And it's eight. And it's nine o'clock, but mm. I think we still need, with this speed, we still need an extra 30 hours. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't know when we're gonna arrive, but we will see. It's actually beautiful to be out on the sea again. It's the sun is coming through the, the clouds. The Jenaker is slowly pushing us forward. We have, um, yeah, it's a little bit of a choppy sea compared to the amount of wind, uh, but it's easy movement and yeah, no cell reception, so no phones, nothing, only flying the drone, talking to you guys, talking to each other, seeing some fishermen boats passing by over there. <laughs> Oh, and the fun part is it's like everywhere is like 30 meters deep. That means that we can drop anchor whenever we want. If we say, well, we need some rest. That's, <laughs> that, <laughs> well, that's right. Yeah, it's kind of a strange feeling that yeah. you can drop anchor in the middle of the sea. Yeah, I've got to go to bed. No, no, guys, I've got a drone. Look, it looks like this. So Gerber is taking care of Benjamin right now, so I uh, am sailing a bit and he can rest a bit and there he's laying in bed watching a movie and chilling. It's really getting a little bit like autumn, it's getting colder, it's more grey, but I can also appreciate this, although I don't like the cold, I definitely don't like the cold. So we are moving very slowly and <laughs> uh, we could turn on the engine but that's not something we, uh, we have no agenda, we're not in a hurry so we can take as long as we want. It's a perfect opportunity just to reflect, stand still and contemplate about life, where we are, what we've been through, how we are feeling, enjoying really the presence. It's not like something else can distract you at this moment, you're just being here and sailing on the sea with 30 meters of depth always able to drop the anchor it's so weird <laughs> we've never had a crossing like this it's cool and look the sunbeams the sun rays isn't it beautiful and there we have our friend that makes our alarm go off so now and then
just had a small wind shift and I'm trying to get a little bit of speed now and then set it to 90 or maybe 60 degrees. I have a little bit more speed now. Crawling slowly. Five point four knots, but we are making two point seven knots of speed instead of uh, zero point seven. So uh, finish. Here we come. This was next level. I didn't rent out, I didn't took it, so I did everything from the um, here from the cockpit and I guided the Jenneker again. So, small update, 24 miles to go. Um, making a speed of 2.3 knots. So let's say another 10, 12 hours. And just a catamaran passed by with nine knots of speed under engine, of course. And there was a couple on it and they were raving. So um, yeah, this is uh, what we call slow living. <laughs> Boat jobs. Crossing jobs. <laughs> Arriving to Venice. How long do we need, Captain? Two hours. Benjamin just fell asleep finally. He hurt himself. We don't know what happened exactly, but he has this pain in his neck, so he can't move his head without pain. I think it's like that you have that muscle that is. How do you call it? Yeah, he overstretched something, I think. Now he's sleeping and we hope it's better tomorrow. Otherwise we have to go to the doctor, but I think it's gonna be fine. I remember myself as well. If you have neck pain, it's the worst. You can't move your head or anything. Now enjoying the last few hours of the sail. And the coastline here is terrible. I don't know if I can show you, but you have all the high buildings and yeah it's not that beautiful but hey we're going to venice i've created this beautiful spot up front again to read my book but it's getting cold so <laughs> it's gonna be more colder still it's getting really colder yeah, it's cold it is cold outside and we don't like it although i don't like the cold i definitely don't like the cold mm. and then i found this i have to show you Oh. I don't know if you can see. <sighs> Gerard and his boat job.
So, almost 24 hours at sea. Benjamin is asleep. We are approaching Venice, and Venice is something special for us, right? Yes, it is. We haven't told that story yet. No. So, we were just in a relationship for three months after two attempts of asking the hand of Rihanna. I did it in a proper way. So, we went to Verona. Then I asked her to marry me. Not in an official way, but... Uh, six months. Was it six months? It was in June. And January. Yeah, in January. So five months. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so uh, Adriana said, said yes. And then we continued to Venice for two days. And we both n knew at that time that from that moment the shit hits the van with, uh, with my bankruptcy. So we enjoyed two days of uh, Venice. And then we dreamt and we said to each other, it would be lovely if one day we can sail to, to Venice with the perfect sense. Yeah, and then in our dinghy drive through the... Through the, through the canals. Through the canals. The Gen say... Beautiful story! Beautiful say. story! <laughs> applause! Applause! applause. <laughs> I think you have to take it down. These silent crossings and even the stormy ones are full of reflection and personal growth. From a young age seeing my father struggle with depressions, I have always been intrigued by why people with little to nothing can feel extremely happy and those with everything can feel miserable and even take their own lives. I believe my inner drive of helping and enabling others to reach a life on their terms, a life with meaning and fulfillment, was ignited because of this. And during the years I have read hundreds of books and been taught by the greatest coaches alive about happiness, lifestyle and business. But I have to be honest, sailing and being one with nature, confronted with the silence of the seas, nowhere to run and forced to reflect, have excelled my personal growth in ways nothing has done ever before. I do believe we are and always will be students of life and there is always an opportunity for growth and transformation. But I just can't start to express how life-changing these crossings of Nasi are and I think only sailors will truly understand this. Even my adventure of surviving 24 hours alone on a mountain haven't surpassed a several days crossing on the open seas. And for now I can only start of dreaming how meaningful and transformational a crossing on the ocean will be. So I'm so grateful to have these experience on the perfect sense for four years already and to be able to share this with Gerben and Benjamin. I hope we will be able to keep doing this for years to come. Even though we believe that we won't be live aboard for the rest of our lives, we do know that sailing will always be part of us. Yesterday evening, with the sunset, we dropped anchor in front of Greece. Greece? Venice! Greece! <laughs> mm. Well, how is it to sail into Venice? It's fantastic! Cruising around in Venice, we are moored in the marina. over <laughs> maybe in Venice and we could show you some places as well then we will do the proper longer version but it was really beautiful wow guys just guyped all by myself look at this haha <laughs>